Hello and welcome to Super Metroid Metroid 3. Now, I know that Super Metroid is one of the most overdone games on YouTube. Basically, if you have a YouTube account, YouTube gaming channel, you do Super Metroid. It's it's like learning to play the guitar and doing Stairway to Heaven. It's just something you do. So why am I doing this game? Because I want to do something a little bit different. Super Metroid is a game that everyone likes to speed run, and everyone likes to sequence break. But there are few, if any, good, no speed run, no sequence break, 100% walkthroughs with commentary of this game. So this is basically what I'm trying to address here. It's a project I've been working on for a while now, and I think this is the best the best path to take without doing things out of order. Um, this is the way I played the game before I knew all the secrets. So if you've never seen a YouTube video of this game, this is how you would probably play it. Now, there is the caveat that what I consider sequence breaking basically is defined as you know, something a reasonable player would be able to figure out on their own. So I will not get any items out of, major items out of order, under no circumstances. I won't skip bosses, I won't do anything like that. But if I see an item that I can get, and I'm supposed to have item A, but I can do it with technique B, I will get that item the first time I see it. That's basically all I wanted to get out of the way first. Um... I can beat this game in the fastest I've ever beaten it was about 30 seconds above what is considered best ending. Whatever that time is. I think it's under three hours is best ending and I got it like three hours and 30 seconds. So I didn't get the best ending. I didn't see the ending sequence that's the best. But, you know, I got it and it's 100%. However, I, I'm expecting that with talking and all that stuff, it's going to take a lot longer. But anyway, let's get started. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on planet Zeebs. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creatures to attack galactic civilization. You guys remember this? From uh, Zero Mission? It wasn't quite like that, was it? I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. And if you watched uh, Sapphire Crook's run of Metroid 2 like I recommended, this is uh, what you would have seen. Again, not quite exactly like this, but uh, I guess close enough. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Ceres, so scientists could study its energy producing qualities. And here they are shaking hands with their left hand, which is strange. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack.
To be honest, I consider this game maybe in the top three games ever made. This is such a good game. It's got the atmosphere, it's got the controls, it's got the story, it's got everything a game needs. It's just, it's the, it's almost perfect. I would say it's almost perfect. The only reason I don't pick it number one is because Xenoblade Chronicles and uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But I would say it's, it's definitely, it's up there. The music, oh my god, the music. So here's the baby. You guys remember the baby? I hope you remember the baby. So, all right, we got the baby. Um. Oh no, it's Ridley. Ridley, what are you doing here? Darn you, Ridley, darn you. He's hard to kill, this Ridley. All right, you can't kill him. No matter what happens, he escapes. And we have our first escape sequence, so that's kind of cool. If you press B while you run, I'm playing on Wii U Virtual Console, by the way. And in this uh, control scheme, pressing B makes you run. And yes, the steam will impede your progress. It doesn't actually damage you, so... That's nothing to worry about. And you have a whole minute, and, I mean, it's more than enough time to get out of here. But this is where it gets crazy. Look at this. The room. I, oh, all you have to do is touch the platform. friend planet Zebes. Look at those graphics, man. Looks like Sam has got a new ship since the last time we saw her. All right, the first thing we're going to do is go left. We're going to ignore everything. Not that there's much to ignore, but we're ignoring it. In this version of the game, um... There is no, there's two different buttons to shoot up diagonally and down diagonally. Um, unlike in Zero Mission. But you guys might remember this place. This is Mother's, Mother Room, Mother, <laughs> Mother Room, Mother Brain's Chamber. This is what this is. A little bit different, like I said, a little bit different than the last time we saw it. Must have been the explosion, you know? It was quite, quite an explosion last time. But we're heading back into Old Brinstar. You guys might remember this place. We get the Morphing Ball. It's called the Morphing Ball in this early version of the series. We all know it as the Morph Ball. No description, though. So here we go. Um, We're going... Right. Um, and we're gonna go down. Like so. See, a lot of the same. We're looking at a kind of familiar territory here. We get missiles. This is our first missile. We get five per power up, per pickup, I guess. We can go back down. Oops, I keep, uh, I'm used to <laughs> zero mission controls since I just finished playing zero mission. 
And so, for goodness sake, this is uh, proving to be a little more difficult than it should be. Okay. So we go press select, five missiles per door, unfortunately. But we're going to keep going here. And we've been spotted. I mean, there's no question. We've been spotted. But this is missile pickup number two. Missile pickup number two. If you're keeping track, which you should be because this is a 100% walkthrough. All right, there's nothing else for us to do here in Old Abandoned Brinstar. So we're going to go back up to regular Old Brinstar. And immediately shoot up. Because Old Brinstar is alive. Such good music, man. You will notice when you play this game, the controls aren't as tight as they were in Zero Mission, if you play Zero Mission. Um, but that's to be expected, this is an older game. I would say Zero Mission improved on the controls available in this game, but that doesn't mean that the controls are bad, by any means. It just means they're not as tight, if you know what I mean. So that's what they'll do, they'll shoot, a, they'll shoot lasers from their face or whatever, and then they'll jump across to the other side of the wall, but easy enough to avoid. All right. And as you can see, it really is alive now. You know, it was a dead, desolate place just a few moments ago, and somehow it's alive. Which is interesting, but, uh, whatever. All right, avoid those guys. Now that we can morph, we're going to jump down here. Avoid that little fella and head over in this direction. We're gonna avoid the flies for now. Because what we wanna do is bust that open and then come back and get some missiles back. Trying not to take any damage, but sometimes it can't be avoided. Okay, we're done here. Ah, forget it, not worth it. We're, we're fine. All right, what do we have here? Bomb, morph ball bomb. Oh, what's this? We're trapped in here, huh? Meet our first boss. This guy's easy. You stand in front of him and you shoot him in the head. I did a lot of missing. But uh, he dies pretty easily. You just aim for his head. And don't waste your missiles like I did. But when he dies, the door opens. And that was the Torizo statue. Torizo. Um, that's it. We have morph balls. We have the bombs. We can head back down to Old Brinstar. And the way we do that is going to be this way. Now, did you see that? I went like that, and look what Samus does. That should give you a hint. There is wall jumping in this game. There is wall jumping in this game, and we will be working on that later. There are a lot of techniques that I found out on my own that you're supposed to find out about some other way or, you know, 
I'll get to that when I get to that, but the point being, there are a lot of techniques that you're not supposed to quote unquote know until you quote unquote learn them. But I learned them on my own just from playing. Um, so, anyway. So let's see. I believe it is this door. I wasn't paying attention. Indeed it is. We get missiles number three. These are missiles three. Okie doke. We have 15 missiles. Missiles number three. Secret little hole here. Oh, you guys are going to be very familiar with crumbly blocks if you hadn't been familiar with them already. From Metroid Zero Mission, crumbly blocks are quite the pain in this game. When you go back down the shaft, because this is what we're doing, just shoot down. These guys should, should be no problem if you just shoot down. Kill this guy, lay a bomb right there. Right there, I say. There we go. This is Mother Brain's little capsule. And we head down here and we collect missiles number four. These are missiles number four. Ooh, get out. Thank you. All right. And now we go back up the space pirate shaft. Now, let's see. Some things to think about when it comes to actual controlling Samus. Samus can jump a little bit higher and reach platforms that are a little too high for her to reach if she jumps normally. You can reach them doing a somersault because you actually shrink a little bit. You kind of do a squat when you jump like that. So a jump that you might not be able to make, try it somersaulting. And somersaulting is done easily by running forward, pressing forward, and jumping at the same time. And we are done in Old Brinstar for now. So we're heading back to the very top. We're not going to bother with this room. I mean, if you, if you want to go in here, I'm not going to tell you not to, but there's nothing really you need. I think it's just a map room. In fact, it's a 100%, so let's go ahead and do it anyway. I think it's just a map room at the end of this chamber. I don't remember. But I can tell you these guys are annoying. Really annoying. Oh my goodness. This game is, mm, I would say, harder. Yeah, it's just a map room. I mean, we might as well get the map. There you go. Hey, criteria. This is a technically great criteria. This is not old Brinstar. But there you go. Okay, fine. Uh, I would say that this game is a little bit harder than Zero Mission. Because it's old school. And you know how old games are. They're harder. They really are. Just in general. Get over here. I need some health. I need some missiles. So this is a safe station. If you want, we can go ahead and save here. not necessary to save too often. The save stations are pretty generous in their uh, placement, so it's not like we're not going to see another save station for a long time or anything. Okay. 
You can't, uh, oh, you don't have, oh, stupid. I forgot these reform. <laughs> I was gonna say you can get a running start just because. Stupid waivers. Doesn't matter, we get our first energy tank, energy tank number one. Energy fully recharged. All right, bust out your missiles because these guys can only be killed with missiles. If you try to shoot them with a regular beam, they will block it. So just take your time, head down here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that door. I'm not gonna go through it, but I just wanted to open it. Don't shoot those pods. And don't bother trying to kill those guys, or you can't kill them. Just move on. Welcome to Brinstar. Such good music. All right, I gotta keep. Rem I gotta remember now. Right trigger is up, left trigger is down. All right, we're going in this room. All right, here's our first recharge pipe. And as always, if you don't take the uh, the item the enemy drops, it won't respawn. Here we are gonna grab missiles five. This is missiles number five. As you can see, the shutter closes up here, preventing our progress. So, this is actually one of the very first rooms where if you're sequence breaking, you can sequence break and get a lot of really awesome stuff. But we're not doing that. So instead, we're gonna drop all the way down, oops this main chamber and open this door all right I'm gonna wait for this guy to come here and I'm gonna equip missiles because as you can see I don't know if you could see him but that guy needs to die if I remembered which one is up it's this one. Remember that. There's one more. They're not that hard, but they're just annoying. Really is what they are. And we're gonna bomb our way through. And we're gonna run the rest of the way. Very good. Alright. We're going straight. And then we're going down. Okay, here we go. How do I explain this part? Let me kill the, the side hopper here. The side hoppers. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, this is where we're gonna practice wall jumping. So wall jumping is done just like it was in Zero Mission. You go up against the wall, okay? You have to be somersaulting, like so. When you touch the wall, press left. And, and Samus will do this little motion. You can see it. Can you see it? I hope you can. Okay, if you're doing it this way, it's right. See, she does it that way, she does it this way. It's the opposite direction in which you're jumping. As soon as you press it, you press jump again. And there you go, wall jumping. This is extremely, extremely, extremely critical that you learn how to wall jump. Okay? We're gonna demonstrate why it's so critical. You see these things up there. Okay. Those are for another item we're gonna get later in the game. We don't have that item, but we want to get up there. So how would, how would I get it? Well, I would run, and I would wall jump, and I would wall jump again. I would wall jump, and I would wall jump. It takes a, f a few tries, but there we go. That's how you get up here. That, 
To me, that is not sequence breaking. Because if you know how to wall jump, which you kind of learn on your own, which I did, I learned on my own, I was able to figure it out. And then I said, hey, I can continuously wall jump up a huge wall, let's try it. And sure enough, you can. And this is actually something that you're supposed to do if you're doing some sort of fast run. So that's what I say. I say you get this now. Some people disagree. That's fine. We can't get we can't get out of there right now. So we jump back down this way. All right. That was missiles six, by the way. So we're gonna wall jump and get out. We're gonna wall jump. We're going to wall jump and get out of here. There we go. Oh, I hate them. I hate everything about them. I hate the noises they make. I hate their face. We're gonna get some health back from these guys. As per usual, you get two missiles per um, missile pickup. Okay. What an annoying animal. Here we go. So this would be missiles seven. This is at the bottom of the what I call the pink chamber. This, if you look at the map, this chamber right here, I call it the pink chamber because it's it's a big chamber and it's pink. Next, we go down here. These conspicuous little blocks, and we get a power up, and it is the charge beam. So we got the charge beam. We got the charge beam. We're gonna make our way back up. I'm actually gonna equip missiles so I can kill that thing. There. Now we're gonna head to the very, very, very top of this pink chamber. So back where we first started, This way, then this way, and there are hoppers. You gotta be careful with those hoppers. There's hoppers and, and those fly things everywhere in this pink chamber. Just help them with missiles. I think this is a, uh, yeah, just a regular bombable wall. And we're gonna save here. We actually are gonna save. And here we have, we're about to uh, encounter our first, I guess our second if you count Torizo, but I guess our first real boss. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we're gonna refill our missiles here. We're gonna need them. I think that's it. Okay, we're also gonna encounter our first real hard enemy. These guys, these guys suck. Uh, they're called Key Hunters. And they are bad news bears. They take one missile each, but I usually end up pelting them with a bunch, just because I think my aim sucks. All right, enjoy. Enjoy this battle. This is, of course, Spore Spawn. And a lot of people skip this boss because 
This fight is not very fun. There are a couple ways of doing it. I personally like to hide in either this corner or the other corner. It's always left for me. In morph ball mode and just hide because he can't touch you and his spores can't reach you. And that's it. If you squat, he can hit you. So you have to be in morph ball mode. If you run out of missiles, you can shoot the little spores and you'll get life or missiles. But, I mean, I don't blame people for skipping it. I really don't. Or at least coming in here better prepared if you're doing sequence breaking. And there he goes. He changes colors, as is the norm for the 2D Metroid games. Oh, that's it. He's dead. No, he's not. I thought he was dead. Because he, he stopped moving for a second, so I thought he might have been dead. I'm not sure what happened there. I really love this music, though. Oh, that's not cool. I really do love this music. I don't care what anyone says. Should be dead soon. I like this side. I don't care. I like this side better. I don't know how many hits it takes, but he's he's close. He's close to meeting his end. Maybe like two more shots or something like that. I think it takes ten missiles to kill. There we go. Dead. He dries out like a husk. We collect our our rewards. We make our way up. Cool stuff. That's spore spawn. Pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty boring. We all know it's pretty boring. I like doing this. I don't know why. It's dumb, but it's it's fun. Anyway, here we get the reward, the main reward, which is a super missile. Now, super missiles is what Spore Spawn is meant to guard. That's the main reason he exists, is to be the missile guardian, I guess, you, if you want to call it that. But, uh, yeah, pretty much, this is super missiles number one. And that is the big reward. Now, if you press select twice, um, you switch between regular missiles, super missiles, or no missiles at all. And if you press Y, if you're playing on Virtual Console, you can go straight from, instead of having to cycle through both, you can just do missiles and then press Y and it'll go away. So that's just something kind of cool if you're interested in that. But... This is actually where we're going to cut it here for the first episode. Um, we did a lot. We talked. We beat Spore Spawn. We beat Terizo. We caught a couple of really cool items, such as the ones you're seeing on screen now. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to continue on our adventure. It just started. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Super Metroid. See you guys then.